Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and your go-to place for all content relating to the HP Reverb G2. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and also enable your bell notification so YouTube tells you when we upload cool new videos similar to this one in your video feed. So by the way, before we start this video, timestamps in the description below in case you want to skip to anywhere important for you. And I just want to welcome you if you're a new viewer to this channel and also welcome back to our regular subscribers and viewers. Thank you for your continued support. So today we're going to talk about Automobilista 2 and how to really get those cars to handle properly on the track. As in the previous video a couple weeks ago when we spoke about Automobilista 2, we had a lot of issues and a lot of problems as to how to get the cars to handle. So let's jump right into the actual uh, app itself and I'm going to show you how, you know, what kind of settings you're supposed to do in order to, uh, you know, get everything ready. So let me just change to transition here. Okay, there we go. And then now you'll be able to see the actual game itself. And then also let me just change the microphone to the microphone of the G2. All right, so now we're using the microphone from the actual G2 itself. And we're inside of Automobilista 2. And then I'm just going to recenter my view. So by the way, this is a raw uncut video, so there's no editing whatsoever. All right, my control is coming back online. There we go. And I'm going to recenter the view. All good. All right, so let's just start. And first of all, I'm going to show you, um, you know, what, what it looks like at the beginning. So let's just start. Okay. See to power on my Xbox S controller. There we go. And let's start. So we're inside of the cockpit. And we're about to start. So let's go, 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 go. There we go. So as you can see, I'm not having any issues at the moment. And we're just going to do a little bit of a lap. Oh, a little bit of... Oh, oh, ah, that's that, that car just uh, threw me off, so never mind. Let's go. It happens often in the games, of course. And you can also, of course, adjust, um, you know, the aggressivity of the actual players. So, so as you can see, I can actually drive pretty well. Let me just brake a little bit to let him uh, go a bit further. And I can turn, no issues. I'm stay. Oh, a little bit of over on the steer over steering there. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, so let me go into the settings. So basically, what we need to do is go into the options, go to controls. Go to gameplay. Sorry. Um, and then basically, what we need to do is we need to go to traction control, and make sure the tra track control. Traction, sorry, control is on high. So what we do is when it's on high normally, if we resume, it's possible that I sustained some damage actually due to the uh, collision earlier. So all these kind of things you can actually uh, adjust as well in the game. So that if you have any issues uh, when someone is actually bumping into you, um, then you know you won't have any issues with the handling of the actual car. All right, so the so for example, I just smashed into that car, so it's possible it will actually affect my handling on the track. All right, let's go. All right, so we're just driving. So as you can see, I'm doing pretty well. And then when we're going to uh, when we're going to brake here in the corner, so we're in second gear. Oh, still in second gear. Okay, we're in fourth gear now. Fifth gear. All right, I'm just going to break. We're in third gear. So as you can see, we're actually doing okay. As long as we're not going too fast on the corners, um, we're actually doing all right. It's not too bad. 
but the moment that we over accelerate so you have to be very careful on your depending on the sensitivity of your controls you don't want to um, basically you know accelerate too fast or press on the controllers buttons uh, you know too abruptly otherwise you will have some issues so now what I want to show you is if we go to um, back to the options and then we go to gameplay and then we take traction control off or we put it yeah let's just put it off and then we go back into the game and then we restart the actual game itself you're gonna see that there's a bit of a difference all right so let's start all right go 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 so already the car oh my and you see now the car is basically undrivable so I'm gonna brake It's really hard to control the car now. It's sliding all over the place. I mean, there's a massive difference. So the thing is, uh, before the previous update to the actual game, um, let's just exit the game. Okay, there we go, let's exit. So before the actual update um, to the game, I think traction control was on automatically and then um, what occurred was, let me just change the car. So let's go to, for example, doesn't matter what car, I guess. I'm trying to find something a bit decent, though. Okay, let's go here. Let's take the BMW. And then let's go to start. Let's go here. And then I'll show you the exact same thing. So before the previous uh, DLC update, I think traction control was on by default. I'm not sure, I can't remember, um, because when the new DLC occurred, basically I had a lot of issues. So let's go to the options, gameplay, and then let's go to traction control and put it on high once again. And then let's see, th let's see what happens. I just need to reset my view once more. Uh, for some reason, even if you go into the options and you put that you want to reset your view in every game it doesn't really work for some reason so all right let's go 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 all right so we're off to the races as they say oh and as you can tell i'm doing okay no real issues with uh, with the gameplay at the moment okay i'm just trying to break so i don't smash into everybody now you will have players, uh, you will have cars that will smash into you at the back of your car and who will try to, you know, make you lose your, um, you know, make it so that you're sliding basically and you, you don't have any, um, you don't have any traction on the actual road. For example, now someone just smashed into me. So, of course, undoubtedly, uh, it makes it so that, you know, I'm sliding on, on the road. Uh, but when no, when no one is behind me, and when I don't have damage, more importantly, uh, you can also, of course, take damage on and off on the track. Um, then, you know, it's manageable. Everything's okay. And also, of course, if we go into options, um, sorry, into... Oh, we can't do it from here. Okay. Uh, if we go to restart session and then we go into options. Okay. There used to be a edit setup. Okay. There we go. Uh, and then you go into advanced setup. Now, of course, you can further adjust uh, all the various different things to make the car even, you know, uh, even better. Um, so let's just, let's just exit. And then we're going to change car once again so I can show you. Uh, so let's select vehicle. And then let's select one of these. There we go. Start. So today we're not focusing on the track, the weather, the graphics. If you want to know more about, you know, the graphic settings and all this, go to the description uh, below the like button. I've put a couple links. And you can also go to VR Snacks our experimental channel where we do a lot of graphic experimentation. All right, so I just want to check very quickly. 
that's in our gameplay we have traction control on high okay then resume all right off we go so from the get-go the car just stays on the track so that's good all right so just oh I'm sliding a little bit because people are bumping into me but otherwise everything's okay it's quite manageable quite playable there's no issue with the car of course if I'm going too fast um, you know around the corners or I'm over accelerating then then there are going to be some issues okay now someone someone actually bumped into me which is why there were some issues just now unfortunately uh, and also if I over accelerate it will also have some issues uh, let me just change the camera there we go but as you can tell doing okay so just break here and also of course depending on the car uh, you might need to go into the advanced setup and you know just uh, do a few tweaks here and there but you know by default it's very manageable you know the car oh I didn't let go on the uh, let's just exit of this let's go to a ret uh, retire pit stop yes and then exit yes okay there we go and then we'll go back to the main menu and then uh, oh, go back to single race change the car once more uh, let's see what else we can we can see we can use maybe this one there we go let's go back in so yeah, if you want to know more about the graphic settings uh, go to the links in the description below the like button uh, we've done a few videos here on the channel and then also on VR snacks our experimental channel all right so let's just go to options gameplay make sure our traction control is on high yep it is and then start let's just change the camera get back into the car all right let's go 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 all right cars are obeying everything's going well let's just brake and also depending on the car you have the brakes will on downfly be different different setup someone's bumping into me so it's making me slide a little bit all right everyone's behind me now and as I mentioned you can go into edit setup advanced controls and then you can also oh I bump into that car so unfortunately oh god almighty <laughs> All right, but what we can basically do now is if I go into the settings, if I go back into the settings and I go to options, gameplay, and then go to low for traction control, or sorry, uh, no traction traction control. There we go. You're going to see it's just much more difficult to handle the car. So let me just brake. already having some issues it's just really hard it makes it virtually unplayable you have to be a super professional I think uh, to know how to basically you know control the, the setup so you can actually play without sliding everywhere it's just really really hard really really hard and forget about driving on the wet with traction control off it just makes it virtually impossible I mean it's just so hard really really hard okay I'm trying my best but yeah it's really really hard so this is really what I wanted to you know show you guys today uh, was that if you just go into traction control and turn it on high or low is also quite hard um, so I just put it on high it just makes life easier for me anyway 
The moment I put it on high, traction control, I'm able to, you know, drive and have a really amazing experience, um, you know, in the game. So guys, before we end the, um, before we actually end this video, I want to show you a quick tip. If you're also having any issues with your graphics, uh, let me just show you very quickly. Is that if you're having any issues with your graphics and you find that your graphics are basically, um, you know, twitchy or you're having lots of frames, just type game and then go to, um, Type game mode and then go to game mode settings. So let me just exit very quickly of Automobilista because we don't actually need this anymore. Okay, there we go. So all you have to do is go to game mode and make sure that your game mode is actually turned off, first of all. Uh, secondly, go to your graphic settings, which will basically be uh, on the right hand side there uh, you'll see it says related settings click on graphic settings and then make sure that your hardware accelerated, accelerated GPU uh, is also disabled and not enabled make sure that it's disabled uh, because it will really help the jitter it will really help you to get more you know frames per second in your actual uh, gameplay just so that, um, you know, just so you know. So make sure that game mode is switched off and, you know, the other graphic settings I just showed you is switched off as well. Uh, so before we go, I just want to give some shout outs to you guys and thank you for, you know, coming to the channel and, um, you know, let, let's just go to some of the comments on the YouTube channel uh, very quickly. So let me just open up. the VR Essentials YouTube channel and go to the channel. So the previous video that we spoke about... Hey guys, how's it going? So today... Okay, let me switch this off. Uh, so the previous video that we spoke about was this one here Ready? for the HP Reverb G2. Um, so T-Hammer, turning the menu music and in-game sound down would make it easier to hear you. Thank you so much for that suggestion. And I did that today. So thank you uh, for that suggestion. Uh, thanks to Gumo1984 uh, uh, for your question as well, and Medic Medula, uh, Pierre Herman, Midnight Rocker, um, World Haze, and kr one eg Quick Silver as well uh, for your comments and your, your suggestions as well to the channel. And I also want to say that, you know, we spoke about uh, Automobilista 2 here as well a few weeks Settings back, in the control panel. Uh, which you can go and check. Uh, and also thank you for all your comments and your suggestions. Thanks to Aijang, Bab, Bob Barker, Ron M, uh, Reptile, XCQ2, James Bond, and also Maximilian uh, Werner for all your comments in regards to specifically, um, you know, Automobilista 2. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you, just so that you know it is easy to actually get the cars to be on the track. There are no issues. Everything works really well in Automobilista 2 since the last update. So do go and check out all those other videos, guys, with all the graphic settings so that you can get up and set up all your game to be absolutely perfect. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel and enable your bell notifications. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao, see you later.